Hello. We are on. Oh uh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> they didn't count down. Yes, it did. It didn't count down on my screen. It did on mine. This shit's crazy. I know. It's crazy. So all that thirty seconds, no matter what you was doing, was on there. No. <laughs> I was sitting here going, "What the shit is going on?" <laughs> I didn't have this much trouble when it was just me and a damn cell phone. <laughs> Holy all shit. this technology, the more you add, the, the more <laughs> bugs you have to work through. It's all a technology. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do today? We're going to talk about Brian Craig and his meltdown. So, so I think one of the things that we ought to do is talk about oh, being wrong. And I was wrong. I was wrong about the last fucking show. <laughs> Holy shit! This shouldn't be that hard. How do we have gremlins? I'm telling you, this is what happens when you go up against QAnon. <laughs> <laughs> it was the uh, what's that? What's that one? What? Oh, that conspiracy! I forget what it is now. Remember, a little race car man believed in it. Uh, Mandela. The Manila effect. It could be. You wouldn't <laughs> know it because it would have changed, but you just kind of remembered it, right? Yeah. It's right. like Kit Kat, the Kit Kat bar, right? Yeah. It's that kind of difference. You can probably <laughs> hear my coffee pot in the background. Drinking that late coffee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was, shit, I was up for quite a while. It, I'm lucky if I get four hours of sleep. I got things to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, sophisticated, you know, sophisticated people like you. So, after spending all that money, let me tell you what you should spend your money on a $10 damn webcam and a goddamn uh, $40 headset. <laughs> <laughs> Because GoPro suck. No, they don't. I don't okay. want to say that. They might sponsor my show one day. Probably not. Hey, but, you can't get a hey. better deal than that GoPro. No, no. You know me. I, hey, I, I, we going to hunt shit out. I ain't spending a whole bunch of money. It'll, Although, just, be riding, like it'll just be riding in the race car. <laughs> <laughs> How can I spend a whole bunch of money on the damn show when I have a damn race car? Yeah. Well, just shit. It goes my coffee pot. It was my other computer. My other where is it? Is it your oh. computer or your coffee pot? I, I don't get. Oh, that's both. It's both. They're bitching between each other. <laughs> <laughs> They're seeing who can piss off who the best. You might want to lock your door. You really do got gremlins out there. <laughs> the the bad part part is is that I'm gonna be up again once Brian goes live. And we'll have another show. Oh, not me. I hope not. Jeez. Well, you're going to have to get up and edit this, put this together, and put, get it back out there. We had to get the other one off of there. I didn't. You can't tell nowadays like you could before that your show's checked, right? Right. So if I run another app or I run another uh, uh, pad or, or tablet, it just, I get doubled up. Well, we kind of got a few TVs and a few monitors. And For nothing. I can't even get the damn show out. <laughs> Shit. And we got too many. Well, let's talk about what we're, what we're going to do with old Brian here. Yeah. Brian. Yeah. So what we're going to do with Brian is, is that he did a show, and, and this is part two for us. Forgive Dude. us. Duh. But he did a show today um, in which he not only, I mean, he, he not only went against his own, what he used to do, but he's getting really bad at this QAnon shit and just being a thorn in the side of anything. He doesn't, he doesn't give a shit about anything. He doesn't have a true goal, right? All he wants to do 
is to get clicks and views. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I want to do that, but it ain't like I'm just going to beat up on the retards. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> Rewinder. <laughs> Hold on. I got to rewind that. Um, okay. It ain't like I'm going to beat up on the weak and defenseless. Wait. God damn. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. It's not like I'm going to use my sophistication, you know, to do anything. According to Brian, you're. Oops. Oops. Okay. So the show was on. Kevin McCartney, right? And what's his name? I always forget his name every time he asks me that. Yeah, it's because he's a Republican polar. He, he's he goes on. He he used to be. You on know that sounded kind of bad. Yeah, polar. <laughs> I think it's Polster. <laughs> and I want I want some people to understand something. I'm not defending Kevin McCartney at all. I'm not. I am a conservative, but I'm not defending him at all. I'm defending the truth. That's it. That's my goal. And and Brian Craig's has a real hard time about knowing what's truth comparatively to what is a con. He's a con. I'm truth. Truth is here. Con is on his radio channel. Uh, you see the black around the mirror on behind him. Yeah, that keeps, that keeps the truth out. Yeah, it's a truth, <laughs> it's a truth seal. Yes. It's a, yeah, you can see all the little where people try to get in with tape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is kind of strange doing it again. We're having the damn show again, so it's kind of strange. So we're not like juberous. I is that a word? And don't buy a mic that costs over one hundred and fifty dollars and doesn't pick up well. No, don't mind. Don't buy three of them. We didn't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know when he's going to get another chair. Look at the chair behind him. He can't afford to bring a chair. That's not his chair. That's the show that's on the weekends. And it where's his chair? No, no. Remember, his chair was the wood chair. Oh. Remember? I don't he, watch he, him. He dragged it in like it was dead. Like he couldn't lift it. He's like, I found this in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> he was dragging that chair. Like, oh, this is good. You know, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. So this is a rental studio, right? This is a, a, a facility that, you know, it's not like a real radio station, right? I mean, I have a radio station right here. Yeah, we you do know. podcasts. We do podcasts. We, we're on iHeartRadio. They'll see us. <laughs> they listen to my podcast, and, and uh, so I get more commercial money. Yeah, our anchor ad. Mm, that was a good one. Because what, what does anchor do? They hold it down. What? <laughs> that might be worth five points right there. <laughs> what, what? Anchor holds it down. What? Okay. Let's get on with it, damn it, because we take a little time here, because this is kind of, and I don't want to miss anything, all right? So let's talk about what's going on with Brian Craig and this damn story from Tucker Carlson. Well, Brian starts out his show with breaking news. Tucker Carlson has found out that Kevin McCartney and this Holster are living together. They're roomies. Okay. What's the problem with that? Were they like those? Remember that? Uh, what was that show? Bism, the two Bism, guys, Bism Bism buddies. Yeah. Bism yep. buddies. <laughs> Both wearing women's shit. Oh, that'd hey. be a good Saturday Night Live. <laughs> hey, that'd be a good Steve and Brian. Yeah, what? there you go. <laughs> I didn't say that, did I? No. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying it could be. Just saying, did the wife know? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think his wife cares. I don't um, think so at all. Isn't that right, Kate? Katie? Katie? Kathy? 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 I don't know. Something like that. Hold on a second. I think I made a joke about this, like maybe a year ago, right? What do you call a fat Karen? Tammy? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Sorry, that is terrible for me. No, it's days. horrible. It's horrible. Okay, so let's get to it. So <clears throat> I just happened to be up, and he started his show, and I'll catch him every now and then. I watched him a lot, a lot before. Uh, and most of you that watch him and watch me, y'all understand what I'm saying. When he was a different, different show a year ago, right? And so ever since he went down this road, I've been, I haven't, not that I've been really like being an asshole to him. I've just been offering up what the actual truth is and asking the questions like, I don't know, is there any ethical violation that could be had from the leader of the Republican Party renting a room from a pollster? I see you something right there ethical. (laughs) Yeah. Ethical, duh. What does that mean? So, but there's there's another thing, and I want to say it real quick because I want to show it. I'm on all the screens already shared. You'll notice that he has a shirt on. It's Trump 2024. I'll be back. Now, me and you talked about this, right? Yeah. Now there's a, and now I know why he hasn't been on the show yet. Which shows are being run the way we do it. Who the fuck wants to come <laughs> on here? All the green uh, M&Ms are gone. <laughs> you ain't lying. Hey, we got good coffee, but can't put a show on to save our fucking life. <laughs> I'm sitting here with an ear muffs, but I'm going to tell you right now, in Texas right now, it's kind of cool, so my ears are happy. I was cold <laughs> during the whole part, first part of the show. Some of the stress goes away from uh, having to worry about, like, I don't know, doing something that's embarrassing while you're on, like, I don't know, fucking up the show. <laughs> <laughs> but let, let's get back to it. Oh, um, oh, Harry Berry here. He done, he, his wife done made up some shirts with Trump on it. And a very, a very good person I know very well, he knows quite a bit about copyright infringement, trademark infringement. In fact, he knows about it firsthand with Donald Trump. He's actually had a letter of cease and desist. Oh, yeah. When, I forgot about when, that. Yep. When um, when Trump first started his show and the tagline, you're fired, was coming out, uh, this individual bought a huge bolt load but not boat load but bulk right like you don't you you don't call a company that's making something go hey give me a boat load of those (laughs) (laughs) well Well, something fun when when when, when you wake up and i go hey guess what i bought a crate of goddamn subwoofers (laughs) (laughs) we just got to get them shipped in now would that be on a boat load (laughs) yeah i just bought but again, what I just bought, 500 iPads. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them work. <laughs> <laughs> so he got, and this is another dude that's really, I mean, other than being pretty special to a couple of people, he's really no, he's not a politician. He's not a big business owner. He has a man of his word, though. But he got a letter. He got one of those letters. So I can't imagine. And he was selling them on eBay. He wasn't selling them on his radio show. So I got to imagine what's going to happen when old uh, Brian here gets that cease and desist. All of a sudden, his Trump shirts will disappear. Oh. What's he going to do with Kathy? Huh? Double up on the feeding. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry. I'm so that that's the pettiness of me. I'm petty. All right. That's one spot, right? So let's go over the rest. So Kevin McCartney, uh the the House leader of the Republicans. His house or the office, he supposedly stays in his office. All congressmen say this. Most of them don't, but they do have a suite 
that's provided for them, which I have no idea why 28 years in radio, he doesn't know this. Anyways, uh, I guess he was staying with a friend of his and Tucker Carlson in his infinite wisdom, right? Of his white power, white supremacist, lion ass self, right? He thinks it's a good idea to say, no, this is wrong. This is an ethics violation. No, it isn't. Can't show it. If you can't show it, you don't know it. Sorry. So on his show, he does that. Well, I waited. I usually, I'll call in maybe once whenever I feel like it, when my ass feels like calling him, right? Are you still with me? Wait, your ass feels like calling? <laughs> Ass likes ass, right? My ass is like, hey, call Brian. I haven't talked to another ass in a while. <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm like, shut up, ass. Right? <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, give Brian a call. You know how fun it is? I'll start throwing shit out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to the show. <laughs> okay. So as you can tell, I've been up for a little while. I'll drink coffee and a we have some issues. All right. <clears throat> so let's, let's continue on. So the first place that he went was, did his wife know? What? That he's a congressman? Yes. <laughs> oh, that he had to stay somewhere when he went from California to Washington. Did his wife know? Yeah. If she didn't, then she's still smarter than Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> if she didn't know that he left and went to Washington for work, and she didn't realize that he was gone, she still has more intelligence. Yeah, that'd be a hell of a, hell of a community. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Think about it. I mean, look, he learned this. Well, I don't know who he learned this from. Steve was never this. He was never bad like this, right? Mm -hmm. Steve did a whole lot of stuff on music. He did a whole lot of stuff on news. He did a lot of stuff on policy. He was a Jeb Bush supporter. He was a George uh, Bush supporter. He even supported uh, Barack Obama. Oh, yeah. Didn't know I knew that, did you? Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know he was in the bushes. Oh, he's in the <laughs> <laughs> more ways than one more <laughs> ways than one just saying so as one of my computers begins to restart which but whatever fuck electronics give me a tablet of stone <laughs> and a dim and another chisel and I'll, I'll make a show <laughs> <laughs> this will be actually one of the first edited videos I've ever done like where it's actually going to be made and then edited and posted up which is kind of strange I always do live stuff right if right. I'm on other channels if I do debates or if I'm doing discussions it's always on live right so this is really kind of weird for me. but anyways <clears throat> I digress He goes to the lowest of lows that you can go because he's not saying, I wonder if his wife knows about that. But I wonder if his wife knows that he's cheating on him or cheating on her. <laughs> because that's what she, I mean, what's the other insinuation? There is no other one, right? There's no other insinuation. He was going to Disneyland without her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Brian's the Disneyland. Turn, no, he's right? the cruise guy. <laughs> hey, look, Kathy throws a couple of Star Wars Star Wars figurines at him, and 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 she's got the day to herself. Yeah. Oh, it's Chewbacca. <laughs> oh, what, what he's got under his fur. You know what today was, right? Star Wars Day, wasn't it? Yep. May the fourth yeah. be with you. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Yeah. Yeah. I gave I gave him the fork. <laughs> <laughs> So this, so I call in, and when I call in, I just ask a simple question. 
And so we can go over that real quick and, and go over that spot, and then we'll we'll talk some more. Let's Should roll. we do that? Let's That's roll. Right. All right. Look. We just want you to your tires. Go easy on your budget. Buy your tires at Grilling Tire in Margate. They have all the major brands like Goodyear, Ford, Chevrolet, 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 Chevrolet,
I'm always a hundred percent honest, but uh, I sure don't try to not be unless I'm trying to con somebody. All right, let's go. You just brought up. He did some research about what the rent would cost to rent to this man, uh, you know, a room in this mansion. Yeah. And he said the going rate would be five thousand dollars. How would you find that out? Airbnb. Yeah. Proper rent. I, I doubt Tucker's the one who takes the Really? Tucker Carlson? You don't take him as a serious person? Now then. <laughs> I, just stomped, I just stomped on his toes. I just I literally just took off my glove and slapped him in the face and said, excuse me, sir. <laughs> you fuck tard. Yeah, not only did I say it, but Tucker's lawyer said it. Even We'll find out that Brian Craig said it. Tucker said it. <laughs> yeah, he said it. You know, when you Don't say me. to get out of a case because you lied. All right. No, not at all. No, see, this is now. This is before we get into this. As you can now, tell, I've I've it. called in a few times before. Got it. Now he's going to deny all of. Because we, we've talked before. I know what his deal is. We got an anti-Trump, never-Trump guy here on the line. He's defending Kevin McCarthy. That's all you need to do, right? Because Kevin McCarthy's got the never-Trump. Pause that. I am not defending Kevin McCarthy. I am not defending him. And yes, I am a never-Trumper. But I can demonstrate why I am. I can... I can demonstrate why I am. He does not hold the same moral values that I hold. He is a, in my eyes, he's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit on the, in, in this country. I don't think he has any morals. Well, look, he, he doesn't know what moral stands for, right? No. He, he doesn't know what it is. I've had conversations like this with my dad and my dad is very fucking smart and he's a hundred percent correct when he says that, that Trump has never had to say, uh, he's never had to deal with it. Right. He's never had to, to pay for anything that he says. I don't know who just will I'll call it back. Oh, it up. I'm turning my phone off. I'll, if you're watching this, I probably already called you, but I'll call you as soon as I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That's just to let you know. I love you. I'll call you as soon as I'm done. Okay. Uh, did you hear it again? It it went off again. Uh, <clears throat> Trump has never had to own up for what he said or done or anything. He's never been held to a standard. And he's 100% correct. My dad's 100% correct when it comes to that. All right. And the funny part is, is I think my dad started out feeling sorry for the dude. But I think at this point, my dad, my, I've never seen my dad like really be anti somebody. Right. He, he wants to look at the entire picture. Right. He is completely like if Trump was on fire and somebody was going to piss on Trump to put him out, my dad would shoot the dude that was pissing on him. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bad it is. And, and I don't blame him at all. Right? It, completely. My dad's a vet. My dad has worked his entire life. He's made his mistakes. He's bounced back from them. He's uh, he's ethical, right? He everybody has issues. He he's a great leader, um, <laughs> and I I can't even. I, I'm so lucky to have have that part of Stunning and Fun. So, but anyways, well, we have now we have the the Tucker fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back on it. But why don't you trust uh, Tucker Carlson? Because he said in court that he couldn't be trusted. Since that he was that would file against it. 
and it gets Fox News. He actually demonstrated in the uh, in the hearing that nobody should uh, trust him. They he commentary. He's not. Uh, well, I've seen that, and what I'll tell you to do is this. Okay. Uh, okay. He says he hadn't seen that. Now that's a lie. That's a blatant lie. He's had shows yeah. about it. Yeah. He's talked about this. When Tucker Carlson came out and did the interview with Matt Gates, he did a show and said, Oh, that Tucker Carlson, he's just trying to take down Matt Gates. Mm-hmm. Matt, uh, Tucker Carlson's liberal. He's a rhino. Well, he did the same fucking thing with Hannity. When Hannity had the interview with uh, with, with with Trump, when Trump yeah. went on his little rampage, not uh, just like two weeks ago, yeah, the last little one, yeah. What 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 is Brian Craig's show? Hannity, it, but before that, hold on. Before that, he goes on uh, his little his podcast real quick, and he says, "Oh, Hannity and Trump, best interview ever, right?" <laughs> Yeah. Then the next morning, because uh, Trump got beat up so bad about how bad his interview was with with Hannity, what is uh, who does Brian Craig blame it on? Hannity. It's all Hannity's fault. He blew the uh, what do you call it? He blew the interview of a lifetime with Donald Trump. Are you stupid? Wow. Yeah, rhetorical. Yeah, it's rhetorical. Um, I'm, I will put you on hold while I take other calls. Go and, and do this. Go to your computer. Find find the document of Tucker Carlson saying, don't trust anything I say, and send it to me. DM it to me on Twitter. YouTube link. No, no, no. You, no, I, I can't play YouTube link. You send me Tucker Carlson. If you have audio of Tucker Carlson saying, now then, he says he can't play YouTube links. This is something else, and I missed it in the last show, but I'm going to get it here. <clears throat> when – who's the Democratic uh, uh, congresswoman who went to the uh, – Maxine Waters. Yeah. When she went to that uh, protest, where did he show that video from? Where did he get the audio from? YouTube. He even said it. He played it on his iPad. Maybe he's talking about the uh, can't post link. Video. Uh, yeah, some settings you can set where the chat you can't put people can't put links in it. That's if I'm going to send it in his chat. Yeah. Right. That's probably what he's talking about. Yeah. And he's stupid. So. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a, a, a QAnon retard. I have all these people's emails. Mm -hmm. I have all their uh, I have their Twitter. I it was another excuse. Yeah, I, I realize that, right? But it, mm -hmm. it's not that it's an excuse. It's a lie. When you know something and then you say that that something can't happen, that's not an excuse. That's a lie. Yeah. All right? I mean, we got to define what lie is, right? It's so cold in Texas. My coffee's cold. All right. <laughs> A lie is purposely trying to deceive someone, right? We don't want to get into, we really don't want to get into the logical, you know, you know, pulling out what a lie is, right? Because I just had that big, you know, we've had these discussions before, right? Right. About the unlying God, right? And that because God can't lie, we shouldn't lie, but God can lie. He's just in the Bible. It says that he's the unlying. He can. He just doesn't. Yeah. So you know, as y'all could tell, I I take shit a bit too damn far. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> Don't trust me. Uh, uh, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Send it to me on Twitter. So Notice he has me muted. Twitter, and I will look at it. And if it's audio, I will play it on the radio. No, 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 not how about, no, no, nothing else. No, 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 you, 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 you have your assignment. You find me. Now, there wasn't a, a, a nothing else. I said, not only will I send you that, but I will also send you the timestamps of you saying the exact same thing and the shows 
that you talked about it before. Now, he can make it, he can play it out any way he wants to, which he does. Mm -hmm. But I taught him, and he knows it, and we're going to watch it. And it's good. It's good. And it's good because it's good. It's not good because it's good. <laughs> saying, don't trust anything that he says. DM it to me on Twitter, Brian Craig Show on Twitter, and I will play it on the radio. You got it? Got your assignment? And, and, and by the way, that doesn't mean some liberal jerk like you saying it. I mean it coming from Tucker. Right. How about if I send you your chef you put on air? No, no, no. Don't say no, no, no. What I want, I want one thing in particular. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't say that. That's all we want from you. Okay. You get that. I'll play it on the air. We're gonna get that call on the fifth. Oh, what? We're gonna get that from him. Not on May fifth tomorrow. We're gonna get that on the fifth of never. Right. Okay, I want to say this right now, and I want to give this to Brian, and and I seriously, as a brother, as a as a fellow human, the fact that you could go from the fourth to the fifth, God, <laughs> he's rocking it. What are you talking about? Hold on, I he's from covered. Florida. Holy oh, shit, <laughs> Brian, you've grown, son. You've grown. Thank you. That was awesome. Type of call saying don't trust me. Lefty is defending Kevin McCarthy. You're on the radio. Good morning. Lefties. All right. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Brian. It's Andrea. Yes, his neighbor. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Now we're going to go. Dun, 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 dun. Now I got to bring. Oh, uh, can I do it here? No. Nope. what? I got to do it up here. All right. So now we're going to go to my second call. So. I sent out some some goodies, right? I gotta enlarge my picture. I do apologize. It didn't enlarge my picture. All right. So, uh, uh, Billy Billy Fontaine. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. So. After I got off the phone, I pulled everything together, and I sent it to him. I DM'd it to him. I put it on his Twitter. I We emailed it. We The whole nine yards. We sent it to Steve. Oh, we sent it to Smoke Signal, too, yeah. <laughs> just to make sure. Yeah. We, we, was, <laughs> we was out there with a blanket, cold, a wet blanket as is, is fire. <laughs> uh, but just like any truth, it's impossible for him to see. So. I know what happened. What had happened? We hired the same service as the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> the blind computer guy? Yes. <laughs> this dude is crazy. Remember, remember, wasn't it Tucker Carlson that sent? Yeah, he's the one. Yeah. That got that, that, okay. Uh, yeah. He got, mm -hmm. the, he got the computer. Rudy Giuliani. The, 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 the mayor, uh, America's mayor. My ass. He was the worst mayor before 9-11, and he was really bad after 9-11. Stop and frisk. Worst idea. Oh, uh, hey, he stole more money from New York than, than Capone. Well, he sure I mean, did. He did buy hair dye. Holy shit. No, he didn't. He bought the shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think that was athletics hair dye because it was made to run. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... So we do that, and then I call back. When I call back, he's not too happy. So let's see if we can find that. We oh. gotta find him first. <laughs> he disappeared. He had to go this one. Of his program last night, that Republican leader Kevin McCarthy lives with Frank Luntz. And his office lied to yes. Tucker Carlson. Lied. Kevin McCarthy may have been lying even to his own staff. So um, 
No, I'll take some more. You're welcome to call in on this. I'll take a call or two, and then I'm going to bring up some other issues, too, to put into the mix. Let's take a call. You're on the air. Good morning. What's your name? Guess who it is? Hey, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm checking my DMs. Oh, instant that? mute. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold on. Let me hold on. Pull it up. I'll pull it up. Now it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Where did you send it? I'm looking at my DMs. Listen I'm to this. I'll put it on your show. Listen to this. I don't. I'm not. You've not tagged me. I don't see. I'm not tagged. I'm not tagged. I'm not tagged. Send me the DM. I, it, it. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but if you look at me, I'm a pretty big dude. I do a lot of hunting, right? If you say I didn't tag you, <laughs> I'm looking for, like, I didn't tag it? Shit, did I get my tags? <laughs> I didn't tag you. Yeah, but I, I, that's not something you want to put on your wall, so <laughs> throw it back. <laughs> oh, yeah, throw it back. Later. <laughs> I hunt a lot. Obviously, as you can tell, I hunt the truth. As you hunt shit. But I didn't tag you. This is a way where you're now your brain saying, uh oh, uh oh, he caught me. He didn't caught me. And what do I do? His brain's trying to figure out what the fuck to say, what the fuck to do. And he can't. Which tweet? Notice he I has me muted. Tweeted like in a which, which, tell me which one. It's he hasn't tweeted in a while. That tweet was put out 42 minutes prior to this. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me see what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to it. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, it's oh, NPR. That's your source. That's your source. Okay. Let me read it. Hold on. Oh, NPR. That's your source. Oh, Tucker Carlson, that's your source? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can demonstrate Tucker Carlson's a liar. You can't demonstrate that NPR is, can you? Nope. It's looking kind of bad on you, Brian. Looking kind of bad. He's trying to think of his way out. Yeah, he is. Of course he is. Oh, he's running around in circles in that head right there. He's old oh, and he go lie again. Let me read it. Now look, he's already hit the link. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Watch the, watch the face. The look on his face. Watch the face. Look at the face. Stop. Let me go back 10 seconds. Oh, er. Let me go back there. Now I got to go. Where I got to go? Where I got to go? I got to go down here. I gotta hit this. I do a solo layout. Nope. Leave it on there. Yeah, leave it right on there. there. Look at his face. I know. I don't know what he was, you know, things sometimes. Look, look at his face. Things I don't like. Look, look, look. You know? Billy, did you eat these cookies? No, mama. <laughs> I didn't. Why you got cookies all in your face? Yeah. I, it was the dog, mommy. It wasn't me. What do you, what do you, you, you must, you, what do you do for me? What do you do? I'm a consultant, if you can't tell. No, you're a sophisticated consultant. Yep. Am I sophisticated? <laughs> no. Hell no. There ain't nothing sophisticated about me. I'm po I'm a poor idiot out of Paris, Texas. What do I do for a living? Yeah. Consulting. Oh, yeah. Big consulting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because because you seem to have a lot of time on your hands. You're time stamping things I say. Doesn't sound like <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I consulted with Dodge, uh, didn't have a whole lot of time on my hands then. Came up with that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Just keep when it I, right there for a second. Why? I just oh, that's it. a good one right there. Yeah. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Ooh, who ate my lucky charms? <laughs> <laughs> Dale. 
He looks a little angry right there, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Holy shit. Told you, he had that blood pressure up. Holy hell. He's a radio guy, right? Why are you getting mad? You know, that's the funny thing. You know, I think debate and de I think everybody should get into some form of interaction like that, right? That's one reason why religious people usually stay more socially uh, accepted, right? Because they talking with people, but people that are less Extensive ideas, right? Even though they're the wrong damn idea, yeah. But, but still, but they have the ability to express their opinion. They have the ability to express, you know, what they're trying to get out and what they're trying to convey. But Brian, yeah. I mean, come on, dude. I'm a Poduck uh, consultant out of Paris, Texas, Jack, and I can get you like this. And this ain't the first time. No. Oh, I've 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 eaten your lunch quite a few times. I don't even want to say it like that. Why I gotta no. say it like that? <laughs> no, no. Holy shit! Look at it. Did you get a screenshot of that? Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like you could give that microphone a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a, a man that has a lot of time on their hands. Not as much as Donald Trump. <laughs> no. He knows what I do. He's been on my channel. He's seen my channel. Listen. Yeah. I, when I take the break, I will pull up what you said, and I'll look over, and I'll read it on the air. Okay? He already pulled it up. Okay. I'll do it. Now, I'm cordial as hell, okay. right? You can call me one more time. I will go over the material. I'm, I, I'm cordial as hell. I'm like, yeah. oh, cool. Good. Good. I appreciate that. Go over it, right? Because it, I, I sent him not only the article on it, but I also sent him the documents, the courtroom doc, the, the court documents on it. You want back on the screen? Oh. You. I mean. Okay. Should I be? No, go ahead. I mean, I can. I'm better looking at Brian. I think. I know I'm manlier. Let me see. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, but he keeps he keeps hanging up on you or muting you or that's a, that's a sign of weakness. I don't think. Hey, look, I stayed on a. Uh, do you remember stayed on that one hangout for eighteen hours? Oh yes. So you got to give that guy some credit, even though he was a nutcase. Mm -hmm. He wasn't gonna stop, right? Yeah. And you know when it come down to it, it was like me and three other guys or three other people that were like, we're not going to let him win either. All right. We're going to stay on. We're like petulant children. Right. We're going to sit there for till the damn cows come home. But you got to give somebody like that a little bit of credit. Cause he's not going to, you know, you're just not going to be pushed around. Right. Not Brian. If you hang up on somebody, you have just demonstrated the weakness of not only yourself, but also what you're, you're you're arguing, right? Yeah. There's a um, I, I don't, most of my regular uh, uh, subscribers probably know, but Matt Slick is like that, right? If you disagree with Matt, uh, and and he can't throw his little tantrum tantrum, or he can't say, uh, you know how his child was, uh, he had to carry his child to the to the grave, or he gets yeah. right at the camera. Yeah. I, Look what he did with with JD Hall, right? And then you go to the after the after show, and he quits in there with his own people. They're Calvinists, right? So, well, it was kind of like I put in the comments on that one. I guess God preordained it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the charismatic guests are still here. Not all right. Let me get off the screen. Damn, what's awesome. up? If you could tell, uh, I'm a big dude there, Brian. You sent me during the break, which is just a few minutes away, and then I'll share it with the audience after. But the source is National Public Radio. So National Public Radio is uh, left wing on the government goals, so I don't trust them too much. But we'll get to it. I will I'll look over during the break, and coming out of the next break, I will share it on the air, regardless of what it says, agrees with me or not. Okay. Really? 
All right. So we shall stop it there. We shall stop it there because there's more. So during the break, during the break, he's supposed to be reading the article, right? All right. Because he's already pulled it up. He's already pulled it up, right? And he was reading it. He had his head down on it. He knew where it came from. He knew he wasn't going to, though. That's why he said, I'll share it no matter what. I've actually had that happen to me before. I've had somebody send me something in a, in a debate format. And then right when I was going to pull it off to utilize it, they delete it. Yeah. And then you're like, you know, you don't have time enough to be able to jump back into it because it's a time. And he's trying to do the same thing. He's trying to run out the clock. That's what he's trying to do. And he does something that's so despicable, I can't believe it. He not only lies, but he lies like a sissy. Yeah, I just looked at that, that it came from public radio. I will share it after the break, if I can find it, because now I can't find it. What? Maybe he, uh, what happened to it? Like that. Listen, to this, listen to this. Listen to this goon in the background. Because I just, I saw it there when I talked to him, and now I don't see it. Let me now, well, the, listen to this. Watch he this. Hold on. He took it down. He tweeted, he, he commented on my tweet where I posted the YouTube video. Look at this. Make up the story. He took it down. I'm he took it down. He took it. He took it down. He you took it down. <laughs> You're going to have to take my word for it. I can't prove it to you. Let me tell you what I can prove. I can prove I didn't take it down. Because in real time, I seen where he was going. Now I'm going to have to wait on my phone. Okay, I'm ready. Mute your, mute your mic before you leave. Okay. Okay. No, I mean because when you come back in, it, it loud as fuck. Are right, you ready? Okay. Got it. So this is the video that I recorded when he started talking about this, about how I had deleted the video, and when he says, "Oh." He, he deleted it. He deleted it. Well, I have it right here. Let me get that a full screen. Let me get that a full screen. Let me go over here. All right. You can see the, you can see the video, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't want to cooperate, but here we go. Can you hear it? Right yeah. now, Brian Kig is saying that the tweet is down, and it's right here. The link is right here. That's right there. I double tweeted it. Yeah, no, it's right there. You can hear him in the background. It was early. Well, what I'm wondering is, did he take it down? No, I did not take anything down. You're a liar, Brian. And now. He took it down. He took it down. He took it down. He tweeted. He, he commented. Now this is live when he, I'm recording this. Yeah. I'm going to do a show completely on this, Brian. Because I, I mean, because I can't prove to you that he took it, but it was there when I was talking to him. And then I went it's, to pull it up. It was still there. And it's still there. <laughs> okay. But it's not only that I sent it to him. It's not only that I sent it to him, but I sent it to him. I sent it to his show. I sent it to uh, Steve. So this is what he does. 
if you can believe if you uh, it's unbelievable to me that that a man that is supposed to you know make a living by his word this is what he does but yet you can't believe a word he says not a word all right so let's continue on up and it's gone now why did he do that why would he why would he do that well thank you I'm looking through again. It's gone now. So here's something that I want the viewers to look at and his his radio listen audience to look at. Whenever he has somebody on his show that he disagrees with, this same guy calls in every time. You yeah. know why? It's the engineer. Yeah. They have to spin the same narrative. This is what they do. And this is what QAnon gets you right here. This didn't, didn't snake snake oil salesman, medicine man, all them yep. used it. Yeah, yep, they did. Look at uh, you can look at that uh, uh, that song that Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney did, right? Back in the holy shit. Here we go to the music. We don't want to go down this 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 path. No, back to Brian. <laughs> <laughs> We don't want to go back to that path. All right. Anyways, let's go. It's gone now. And then, and, and what he'll do, what he'll do is he'll accuse me of uh, not wanting it, not wanting the sharing. That's called projection. He's trying to blame me for what he knows he's doing. He knows that if the narrative is that Tucker Carlson is a liar and is not to be trusted, then the entire show that he didn't put together is wasted. Yeah. Wasted. And to Steve, that's going to look like he's not doing his job. Steve's going to look at it and go, God damn, our show, shut, our, our show sucked today because of you. Mm -hmm. Do you not get this? And I'm talking to you, Steve. I know you're old. I, I, I know you got nurses around you. I don't care. I'm talking to you. This is your name, son. Don't have to take the discount cruises. Oh, boy. <laughs> yep. Have to pay for it by the inch. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what they do. But you fuck with a dude that really takes his word serious. I don't, I don't play with my word. I don't play with my name. Mm. Wow. Wow. He took down the story. I could not. Took it, it down. Now, in today's day and age, audience, if I gave you just three things to search, Tucker Carlson, NPR, court, Lawson. What do you think would come up on Google if you typed in that? Uh oh, I hear typing in the background. You know what come up? NPR's what? video or yeah. NPR's story. And under that, you'll find the court documents. Holy shit. But I took it down. That's how little ability you have. Wow. This is what happens when you're dealing with Democrats. Not a Democrat. This is what Democrats do. Right? They have no integrity. I, I mean, I'm looking again. Gone. Gone. Wow. Wow. I wonder he, why he did that. It must not have said what he told us it said. Really? All right. Easy to find. Yeah. My name's Brian Clay. NPR. He already knows the source. And, yeah. Uh, I got to tell you about. So this is what I said earlier, and I'll say it again. Brian, I have a lot of that. And I plan on doing another show. Now, if you made a mistake, you think, I'll let you retract that. But if you don't, I promise you, everything that I do know and everything that I do have, I'm going to put up. And it's not going to be pretty. It's not. 
So I'd really think about maybe taking that back because that's my word, not yours, son, mine. And if you think I was bad today, you have no idea. You might want to take a look around my, my studio. So let's go to the next phone call. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Let's go to it. And, you know, Ian, I, I got a call from a listener in Sarah's for a little while. It's very surprised at that. But it's a it's an article. And stop calling me every five minutes. Well, they're not going to be as low as they are now. Okay, so this is my next call. I called him back after he tried to do that bullshit, right? So I called him back to let him know that I literally recorded it. And I sent it. So let's watch what he does with that. And the, and the cabins are going to fill up. They're going to fill up quick. So give Ian at Cruise and Travel Depot a call. And uh, he'll give you all the details of the cruise. And, and, and a lot of times people ask me about pricing. Pricing varies depending on what cabin you get. Yeah. You know, uh, Do you get your refund back if you don't go? They have a <laughs> small inside cabin. We have people that have. Uh, Males only. Are, yeah. Uh, some of our homes that are on our trip. So uh, uh, he'll give you all the details on everything. I have pictures of those cruises he's been on. Single, we have a lot of single people. That come Brian, I'm quite re resourceful. A lot of other <laughs> people us on these cruises too. And uh, Ian's number 561 244 5779. 561 244 5779. Make your reservation and lock, out, and lock in the low prices that are available right now. Because when when the sailing starts, not only are things going to book up, but supply and demand. You know, are you going to take your my pillow popper? <laughs> you know, he is. <laughs> She's going to smother him one of these days with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm all excited, Ian. Why are you all excited, Ian? The largest group yet. Why? Our, you know, our group dining experience right alongside the window where we like it. Have a beautiful view. Yeah, now this is this is the, the one demand that we always make. If you, and if you've been on our cruises, you know, we have the best seating in the dining room on every ship we go. Okay, I'm a dude, right? <clears throat> if I go on a cruise... I don't care about the scenery. <laughs> I care about a couple of things. I care about the alcohol. That's one of the major things, right? What ports we're going to so I could buy more alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and, and where am I playing golf? <laughs> right? That's me now in my older age. In my younger age, it wasn't exactly that way. But I don't think Brian can understand so that that environment. On every table is an ocean view, and we hog up that whole side. How is a, every table an ocean view? There's always going to be somebody on the cruise that doesn't get the ocean view. They're on top of the ship. <laughs> oh yeah, because they have tops and bottoms. Exactly. Ooh, ooh egg. <laughs> she said egg. <laughs> There ain't gonna be no eggs on that ship. All right, Ian. Uh, thanks, and uh, we'll talk soon. I bet you, you will. Know. Ian from Cruise and Travel Depot. Call him <laughs> and join me and Steve Kane on the Steve Kane MAGA 2022 cruise. All right. Good morning. You're on the radio. Here we go. Right. <laughs> damn article and stop calling hey, hey slow down send me the excuse me dm me the ex excuse me excuse me you're not going to pollute the ears with your life oh, DM me article right now. now then he just said you're not going to pollute the air with your lies what do we call that um uh, would you call that censorship oh yeah oh what the shit Wait a minute. Isn't he against censorship? But he does it all the time. He hangs up on people. He mutes people. Yeah. I've seen, and, and listeners will know, that if somebody agrees with what Trump is saying or what one of the Trump tards are saying, bootlickers, one of the sycophants, that if they say fuck or, or uh, motherfucker, he'll warn them. Mm -hmm. I've gotten knocked off the show for saying damn 
<laughs> well, damn. <laughs> damn. No, I mean, that's what I, he said something so fucking stupid. I was like, damn. <laughs> like, what did you just say? <laughs> Shit. I wanted to send him a plaque. I was going to send him a coffee cup that said world's worst radio guy. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's go and get some more because he finna get funky. Okay. Stop calling every two minutes and tell me what you're going to do and what you have and what you got. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Tell me what you got and accusing me <laughs> of uh, censoring. What? Send me the article. Holy shit. Right now. Look we'll at it during the break and read it on the air and stop calling every two minutes telling me. That you did this and you got that. Because I'm looking and it's gone. Okay. It isn't gone. So send me the DM with the damn article. And I will read it on Do you want <laughs> It was a little little hot under the collar there, wasn't he? Hold on a second. You know why you want a DM? Which he got. But do you know why you want a DM? So nobody else would see it. And he would say yeah. whatever he wanted to say about it. Yeah. Yeah. And and the funny part is, there, there's a there's an idiot on his show called CA17. Yeah. It's one of those Q tards, like like really <laughs> bad, right? Yeah. There was an idiot that I, I about a year ago, I think, or a year and a half ago. Oh, what was that? What was that thing's name? Do you remember? Um it she was he was I, I I'm not and I'm not it trying was. to be I, I'm not trying to be Rude at all. all. Right. I know Honey, who you're talking about. You know who I'm talking about now, right? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Holy shit. Um and, it and was talk on don't don't say the name. Don't say yeah. the name. I, I don't want I, I don't want to promote it. Uh but it was it, it was supposed to be in school and so in college. And it would come on. I, I used to be a part of a, a, a debate community type thing. And, and I used to do a lots, lots of shows. I'm talking, holy shit. If I had a show for four hours, that was fast. That was a fast show. Yeah. Most of my shows would go for eight hours. Yeah. I thought, I, and well, I hate when I hear this and then I, then I say, I have to say it because, you know, we had higher, People who believe that they were smarter than what they were, I'm one of them, uh, that, you know, we discuss philosophy, we discuss, you know, human rights, religion, politics, and how it all wraps up within each other. And, well, this one was just kind of that sort of special, right? <laughs> and I, and I, I, gave, I gave it a lot of credit in which I shouldn't have. And. We found out later um, from one of her friends or one of its friends that it wasn't in college. It nope. was work. It, it, it had a part time job watching kids at the neighbor's house. And it didn't make any money and it didn't. All it wanted to do was get money off a of line. That's, yeah. It was trying to start online and it was trying to use. Uh, a certain class of YouTube to do it, which was the LGBTQT uh, uh, movement, right? That that class on you on YouTube, and and that's the bad thing about YouTube in a way is the fact that anybody that comes in there and could con their way into the door, people will give them money because everybody. Oh, yeah. You have those horror <laughs> stories, right? I was at the mall and I wasn't doing nothing, and all of a sudden they start ganging up on me and beat me up. That happened. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. But for somebody to use that story that never happened to them, that's kind of crazy. She said, or it said this, this story kind of like that. And when it did, I looked into it. And when I looked into it, I found out that it was fake. And, yeah. and it had claimed a lot of money from it. And I tore that person's, well, it couldn't be the other one or the other one. It had to be the middle one. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're going to see Brian do the same thing. He's fixing to lose his monkey. 
Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. The monkey's coming off. You know why I say that, right? Yeah. He finna itch that head, ain't he? Mm-hmm. Dandruff. You can't keep calling in every two minutes telling me what you've got. Wait a minute. Did he tell me I could call in? Yeah. <laughs> Did he say I could call in one more time? Yeah. What's wrong here? And what you're going to do. I really, you know, I've been doing this a long time with Steve. And Why do you bring up Steve? We know he's been doing this a long time with Steve. But <laughs> <laughs> I used to think it was Go fun. ahead. Put it out there. <laughs> you know? And I, and I really, most of the time, don't think that way anymore. Because I don't have time for the lies. I don't have time for the dishonesty. And and what this guy's doing. Name one lie. Just one. Name one, Brian. Name one lie. You don't have time for other people's lies because his take up all the time. <laughs> I've got, I have got documents that would set you back 10 years, son. And you think about the 10. Only going to spend a moment talking about it, but what he's doing is um, very sophisticated fake news propaganda. The <laughs> techniques. Do you notice what he's doing? Have you noticed it? He makes an allegation. He says he can back it up. He commented on it on 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 on, on Twitter. Is he talking about me or himself? He makes an <laughs> allegation that. Uh, Kevin McCartney is having women at uh, his Washington rental property. Then he puts it on Twitter. Then he does a show. <laughs> on it. Yep. Who are you talking about, Brian? You talked about me or are you talking about you? Because the allegations that I made are truthful and can be demonstrated. Yours cannot. You know, after this show, he probably went and curled up in his robe and got on his pillow topper and curled up and sucked his thumb. <laughs> he was so oh, tired. He did a peaky. He did a peaky. He, he did a peaky. Oh, it's such a bad daddy chamomile tea. <laughs> Can I get some chamomile tea? It's so bad. I had to deal with big C again. <laughs> I've made some money, but look, look, Brian, here's the bad part. Your degree is in history. You have a, a bachelor's degree in history. Yet you learn nothing of the past. Go figure. So that I could see it before I could read it, it disappeared. And now he's getting this narrative as if I don't want to share something with people. Don't you, they are, I don't know what he does. Don't worry, people, we're going to watch this part again. He's not an no, I'm not. He's too sophisticated. Yes, I am. He's too sophisticated. Yes, I am. That is upper level fake news <laughs> Thank propaganda you. technique. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And it really ticks me off. Does it? And we're not going to do this thing until nine o'clock of, I've got it. I sent it. I have it. You know, we're not going to do that. DM me the article on Twitter. I'm taking a break in a few minutes. I will pull it up during the break, and I will look over it and come back after the break at the bottom of the hour and share it with the listening audience. Yeah, well, I'm going to do it again. <laughs> There's a lot, of other, a lot of other single people every two minutes telling me. What well, I, I, I apologize. I apologize. I hate that shit. Well, I'm all excited, Ian. He, oh, God. I always catch it right there. So he's so excited. Is that bad for him to say the largest group yet? What is he yeah, measuring? No, this is, this is the, <laughs> he probably yeah. is. <laughs> and if you've been on our cruises, you know we have the best seating in the dining room on every ship we go to. <sighs> every table is open. And we hog up that whole side of the dining room because we have a window. All right, Ian. Uh, thanks, and uh, we'll talk soon. I bet you will. <laughs> we'll pillow bite soon. <laughs> MAGA 2022 Cruise. All right, good morning. You're on the radio. It's me. 
let me tell you, Paris, Texas. Uh -oh. Send me the damn article and stop calling. Hey, hey <laughs> slow down. Send me the excuse me. DM me the ex excuse me. Excuse me. You're not going to pollute the airs with your life. DM me the article right now. He hung up on me right there. And he's still talking to you. Yes, yes. I have him doing this shit a lot. Send me the damn article and stop calling me every five minutes telling me what you got and accusing me of uh, censoring things. DM me the article on Twitter right now. I will look at, look at it during the break and read it on the air and stop calling every two minutes telling me. Wait a minute. You said I could call. You said I could call. Okay, it's gone. So send me the DM with the damn article. And, and we'll read it on the air. And why? Hold on. You can't keep And why? Why? You got caller ID. Yeah. That's what you said. You said on another show when a guy called in that sounded kind of like me. Right? And he was arguing kind of the same points as I was arguing. Because there are other people out there with logic. <laughs> yeah, but Brian doesn't know many of them. <laughs> Brian hung up on him and said, "You're from Paris, Texas." I, I think know he who hung, you are. He hung up on him, didn't he? Yeah, he hung up on him. I, you're Big C. I know who you are. I I know you call me. Man, I I talk about rent. You want to talk about proper rent, son? I rent your head out for free. <laughs> you're paying me. For the occupation I, I, I hold within your two ears and a big fat snout. <laughs> Come on now. Damn, it's too much fun. Calling in every two minutes telling me what you've got and what you're going to do. Oh, do the arms. I really Get the arms going. Get the arms. A long time with you can do it. And Why you brought up Steve? I have no idea. You know, I, I used to enjoy talking to liberals. Because you was one. Fun. You was a liberal. You know, and I, and I really, most of the time, don't think that way anymore. Because uh, I don't have time for the lies. I don't have time for the design. Name one lie. And, and what this guy's doing. What is it? I'm going to spend a moment talking about it. Yeah. What he's doing is um, Come on very now. sophisticated. There you go. Fake news propaganda. Oof. The techniques. Do you notice what he's doing? <laughs> Have you noticed it? <laughs> he makes an allegation. He says he can back it up. He commented on it on 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 on, on Twitter so that I could see it. Yeah. Before I could read it, it nope. disappeared. No, nope. I proved you wrong there. there. I showed you the lie there. Share something. Yeah. They are. What's this? I don't know what he does for it. He says he's a consultant. You yep. know what? He's not an unemployed bond. He's too sophisticated. He's too sophisticated. Brian, my smallest toolbox costs more than your car. <laughs> <laughs> and it really ticks me off. And we're Does not going to do this thing until nine o'clock. Well, I really affected him, didn't I? Oh, yeah. You got really in his head. Huh? He really got in his head. Few minutes. I will pull it up during the break. He gonna I'll beat the hell out of that my pillow, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and He's tossing and turning on that mattress pad. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take the break in a few minutes. So you've got time. You've got the article. Fourth time he said he would do this. Now he never does it. Never does it. Because if it's in a direct message. You can't send it, then delete it. You're an idiot. You know why he does that? Because he's done it before. And if you mm -hmm. do that, well, well, what? We'll talk about what, we'll sweetheart? What? All right. Our number toll free one. Holy eight, shit! Eight, <laughs> go Kane. I always laugh at that. Go Kane. One triple eight four six five twenty six thirty one. All right. All right, so let me take that off real quick because there is another something I want to show. What do you want to share? Okay, so there's a listener uh, that I owe a lot of, of um, his name's Ham Sauce Jenkins. Now, I say his. 
I'm not sure if that if that's if it's a he or a she, right? And I apologize if I got it wrong. But what I want to show is ham sauce is another one of those. Um, I think he's coming out of the uh, QAnon stupor, right? But ham sauce uh, has actually been on my show uh, in my last video. We've, we've had discussions before. Um, he knows I'm a conservative. He knows, he knows what I think. Uh, but while all these other uh, Q-tards were on the side chat talking about how I shouldn't live in Texas, really? Come move me. I got something for you. <laughs> But over here, I don't. Can you can you see the screen? Uh, it's a little blurry. Okay. So. Let me see if I can. Can I make that large? I wonder. I wonder if they say that on that cruise. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you you can't. Well, anyway. But at at two hours and fifty minutes, if you go into the show. In a side chat, you're going to see that Ham, Ham Sauce Jenkins tells Pat, what, Pat Hub that she found the article. And this is what she says. Pat Hub says, well, what does it say? And Jenkins, to his credit, says, wait a minute, let me get my, let me get my eyeballs on. <laughs> Jenkins says, Ham Sauce says pat his lawyer argued that's in court that reasonable people don't believe anything he says and that he uses hyperbole now that's the first response back that that she gives or he gives the next is directly under it and hamsaw says to his credit should read it I think I made my point. I rest my case. I think this is a slam dunk. Yeah. I think I've proven my case. How about you? Brian? Absolutely. Brian, can you prove your, your case? Brian, can you show me something that shows that what you put out today was worthwhile? Can you show me something that helped the listener audience in your area? Can you show me something that actually meant that you actually accomplished something today worthwhile? Because I don't think you can. I don't think you will. You're what's wrong with America. I'm saying that to you. And when I want to make sure. I want to make sure that everybody sees what I'm saying. If you can't show it, you don't know it. If you can't prove it, then shut the fuck up and ingest some information. And if you continue to want to fight down a battle that you can't win, this is what you get. And this is what you're going to continue to get, Brian. I'm going to continue to do this. And I promise you, it's not going to end well. So if I was you, I would really think about what's on your channel. And think about how many times you've said one thing to another. Then I want you to go look at what's called the laws of logic. And look at the law of contradiction, non-contradiction. Think about that, right? Because I do. And I'm going to point out every little thing that you've said. And I'll run with it. I'll make you my next year. And when I'm done, you won't be on the air anymore. Probably won't be in Florida. So I'm going to let you have that. I'm done with that. So, what do you think? Great show. Yeah, I think it is. <clears throat> Anybody wants to 
come on. Anybody thinks that uh, what I'm saying is bullshit, that's fine. But like I said, if you want, come on, show what you got. If you can't, do what uh, most other people do and sit back and uh, and, and type away. If you want to come out here, if you want to come on the show, you feel like debating me, you feel like you can get the best of me, cool. Come on.